Welcome to Serenity Productions. That should be everything that we need. Extra supplies, weapons, and a few magic items to back us up. Uh, I maybe had to call in a few favors. But oh, what's a few favors in exchange for all this beautiful treasure? Look, I even got a shadow bomb from one of the shadowling groups here. Not too shabby, huh? Well, when you say you're going up against the Western Empire, you'd be surprised how many people want the help. Free of charge, too. Ah, don't worry. I already promised them a crate of whatever we find. You know how much their people suffer. If we can help out in any way, we should. Gods, she is a beauty. Ratchet's man did a good job fixing her up. I also saw they had some new modifications. Are those new cannons? Should I ask where they found them, or is it better if I don't know? Oh, whatever you say, Captain. Oi, be careful with those. Unless you literally want them to blow up in your face. I might have gotten the more dial to one. What? It works better than regular gunpowder. And there's more of a kick to it with using less than the traditional stuff. Like I said, I called in a few favors. Especially from a man I know that likes to travel up north. Dragon scale gunpowder is the best there is. Small amounts, bigger boom. Okay, yes, and there might be a small possibility for it to blow up on us if we don't take care of it, right? But we'll be fine. We're going up against the best of the Sunkist. Do you want the good shit to combat them or not? That's what I thought. So stop being such a ninny and say, Thank you, Vix, for getting us such an amazing find. Okay, not exactly what I wanted to hear, but close enough. I would say another hour to check that everything is secured and we should be good to head on our way. Best time to take off is at night. So all the sun kissed are asleep anyway, so the waters near the border are less patrolled. You think they would have been smarter about that and have different ships that run the night crews on that thing? But that's the Western Imperial Armada, am I right? So, what is the first ship on the rocket? The Dawn Rises. What an original name for a ship of the Sunkist Navy. That's a lot of firepower on that thing. 126 men, 8 officers, 26 main guns, and 6 swivel guns. That's not accounting for the amount of magic they have on that ship. Probably a handful of mages and healers. Not to mention whatever shifters they decide to recruit. You know I say that sarcastically, right? Unless you're sunkissed, you don't actively join the armada. Well, not unless you're completely brainwashed, at least. So, how are we going to go about this, then? Hmm. Oh, nothing. 
I didn't know you wanted us to lose our ship that quickly, though. In fact, I was a little shocked you hadn't just suggested to hand her over to them and say, Here, you could use a fast and reliable vessel. Ow! That hurt. What's your strength, you see, southern brute? What I would suggest leading them through Maker's End. I'm not crazy, thank you very much. We've done it before. We can easily do it again. Their ship will be too big to get through the passage, and if we lead them away as the sun is going down and set off one of the spells the Shadowlings gave us, they'll be heading right for it. Ah, not if we had the lads waiting on the rocks to get on board. It'll be night by that point. The Senkis will be powerless and too concerned with the ship about to sink. The men would easily be able to steal anything of value and get back onto the rocks. The Ace can do it. I've seen her practicing her magic and she's ready. It's a good plan. You know it is. And if there are no survivors, then no one will be able to alert the rest of the armada. We take those that surrender then. Those who are loyal can sink to the bottom of the deep for all I care. No. Now I sound like someone who has lost too many people I respect and care for to an empire that thinks it can just bully us into submission. The Southern Isles are not going to be the next lands taken over by that emperor. You should have known when you said that you wanted to continue with our departed friend's plan. You were signing us up for a war. Not an all-out war, but a war all the same. If you're not ready for the wait that we'll have on you, you should stop right now and give the plans over to another ship. I would never consider you a coward for it. My friend, you are both blessed and cursed with a huge heart. It's what makes you a good captain. You look out for the crew. You listen to our suggestions. And only in the most dire of times do you take complete control of the ship. But I also know you don't like to take lives when you don't have to. You know the Western Empire is not of that same mentality, though. They will kill, and torture, and violate everything in their path till they get what they want. And you know they won't stop. Not unless someone makes them. So you need to make a decision. Can you stomach the fact that we're about to send souls off before their time? Swear it. Swear it on your father's soul. Alright. And he and I will both hold you to that one. Then which plan are we going with? <laughs> then I'll tell the crew we set off to lead the ship to make it resign. Hopefully the signing plan there won't be too mad at us. Remember the last time we went, they you may have uh, never been able to get over that one. I told them not to enter into a relationship with her. We didn't want to listen. Now we're the one paying the price. No, I made sure the pack of goods we promised them last time. And are enough for interest as well. I'm not stupid enough to try and pull a fast one on them. Now when we have such a pequeres plan that we need to have. Now come on. Get whatever you need to get settled done. We set sail in an hour.
Well, and please don't bring any more rum onto the ship. The last thing I need is to be secondhand to a crew of drunkards.